Ha! Today on Trends bit of a special episode. What are we doing today, Ray? We're going to see the world's most disturbing dog. No, we're going to see... A dog without a head. It has a head! It, no. It's the cyber dog. We're going yeah. to see the cyber dog. <laughs> yeah, it's very disturbing. Yes. She hasn't even seen yes, it yet, but yes. she already says I that it's disturbing. I saw the teaser. You saw, <laughs> you saw the it's video. It's very... Uh, uh, not cute. And I think you're just being rude. So let's find out who's correct. Okay. Boom. By now, we've probably all seen the videos of Boston Dynamics' incredibly helpful robot dog, Spot. It's been used for security, documentation, and it was even used recently in Singapore to remind visitors to maintain social distancing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Oh, and did we mention that it can also dance? But did you know that Xiaomi also makes something incredibly similar? It's called the Cyber Dog. And I described the visual similarities between it and Spot as uncanny. But that's not what we're here to talk about because we've seen that discussion already. Instead, we're here to find out just what this robot dog is all about, what it can do, and also try to convince Ray that it's not going to take over the planet. Xiaomi Cyberdog is powered by NVIDIA's Jetson Xavier NX supercomputer with a set of custom servo motors that allows it to run up to 3.2 meters per second. It sees the world through its 11 sensor array that consists of a mixture of cameras, touch sensors, GPS modules, depth modules, and more. Since it's a dog, you can technically take it for a walk as well because Xiaomi says that it's water resistant, though you won't be able to submerge it, so if your Cyberdog goes for a swim, it's not going to come back. Lah. It can also respond to voice commands with the call sign Tietan. Tietan, Tietan. Yo, Tietan, what's up? Unfortunately, this particular unit's voice commands have been disabled, so we weren't able to test that out. Still, thanks to its powerful servo motors, the dog can do a bunch of different tricks that have been pre-programmed into the companion app. It can, for example, roll over. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's struggling. Oh yeah. Shake. You. <gasps> Sit up and back. He's standing. He's standing. Look. As well as dance. It folds. I like to see you wiggle, wiggle for sure. It makes me want to dribble, dribble. Unfortunately, know. while the cyberdog in the video can backflip, this one haven't learned that skill yet. With its vision sensors, the Cyberdog can actually recognize individual people and even follow them around the way a modern DJI drone would. So you're not doing anything, any I'm control, not, right? I'm not doing anything. Wow, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's impressive for me because the chair is so thin yes. and they can still see it. Wow. Users will also be able to see through the Cyberdog's cameras and even take photos and videos via the app. So Ria, are you convinced yet? No. You still don't like, you still don't like the side. Look, maybe that's why you don't listen because you don't like him. If you were thinking of buying one, I have some bad news. Xiaomi Malaysia says that their plans for the Cyberdog are for it to be a platform for developers to really test not just its capabilities as a robotic machine, but also the various technologies equipped on the platform. The servo motors, for example, could see other applications in future Xiaomi devices. The sensors are pulled from their future smart car project. And that's why they're encouraging developers, engineers, and even members of the public to come and hack it and see what they can do with it. As a result, the device is definitely not optimized for consumer use. Battery life, for example, is only up to 40 minutes, while it takes 160 minutes to charge up from 0%. This also means that you can't buy one even if you have the money to burn. Currently in Malaysia, there are only 3 units while there are 1,000 units in total worldwide. But the good news is that you could see it in person because Xiaomi Malaysia tells us that they are taking it on tour around the country at their various Xiaomi stores. We don't have the dates right now but when we do, we will leave them down in the comments below. Okay, so we just got done seeing the cyber dog. Ray, what are your thoughts now? So before this, you came in as uh, someone who is like, No! Kill in fire! <laughs> now, has your opinion changed? No. 
<laughs> no lah, not that I want to kill it with fire when it jumped. Uh -huh. It's quite cute. Uh -huh. But other than that, the hassle of you needing to charge lah, then you need to like give proper commands. If there's too many people, the dog will get confused. Yeah. And then if the Wi-Fi is down, you can't even give commands. True, true, like, true. There's so many things. And the battery life is like 40 minutes only. Hello? Yeah, I think that's the worst part is that the battery life is only 40 minutes. But again, this is not meant to be like a consumer product, right? This is, like Xiaomi said, it's a test bed. It's a, it's sort of like just a proof to, of concept. Yeah, yeah just yeah. to get people understand technology. Like yeah. Technology can go this far. Yes. And then also to test out new stuff like their computer vision, like their, you know, their new servo motor. So as a, as a platform, I guess it so could they have just made like I asked the guy I was like could you have just like why why a dog right why not just make something real since you know you want to test the computer vision for for your car projects or, or whatever right mm. and he was like basically the idea is just to give you a bit of personality lah, to to I understand to get people interested like oh what is that because if it's just like a thing with wheels it's just a thing with wheels but it's if like it's a like a, a dog yeah, yeah. okay lah, I guess that's it um, we also have we also have Lovey and uh, Sophie with us today so what do you guys think of the the dog yeah i think it's i think it's okay but i think i, I won't buy it like. yeah <laughs> i won't buy it's it it's the one so. thing of <laughs> yeah. i think you got money as a cannot buy it's just a 40 yeah. minutes thing yeah so, and to charge yeah. and then very yeah, fun. Fun. oh we're gonna ask how long they need to charge but like if you got 40 minutes of play time how long does it take to charge <laughs> feel like very slow like no fast charging no fast charging okay yeah, later later, slow, later we ask we'll put it here oh uh, yeah yeah okay <laughs> Ready. So do you want me to say, do you want me to start first or you want to start? You start, you start. I start first, huh? You okay. lead me in because I don't right. know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, focus, See, focus, you focus. cannot do it also. It's oh. hard. It's hard. What the f***? Let's, let's face your reality together. Okay, ready? Ah. Okay, thank you so much for watching that episode of Trends. What do you think of the CyberDog? Let us know in the comment section below. Um... But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, unfortunately for this episode, Ray has a special announcement to make. Yeah. I, uh, okay, fine. I'm leaving. So I chin chow. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> what she's trying to say is... <laughs> This will be her last video, uh, not only her last episode of Trends, but also her last video with Sir Jin Chao. Um, yeah. After what? How many? How many hundred episodes of of Ichimi and what six seven hundred? Six hundred. Way too way way more than I can be. count already. I don't know how many um, and also how to what is mm. reviews mm. features everything. You know what show is my favorite? Ah, uh, what show is your favorite? Trends. 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 Yes. Your favorite. Cause you get to eat food, right? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, how you yeah. get to eat wagyu skewer, see cyber dog, right? Yeah, get all get all the stupid things <laughs> done before I'm leaving. <gasps> oh my god! Okay. Yeah. Yes. So this is this is uh this is this is sh this sucks. Okay. This this hurts for all of us. Um. But what she what 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 do you want to say? You want to say what, what are you supposed to say? Uh, thank you for for watching supporting us. me throughout the journey in Swan Chin Chow. Yeah. Very thankful for that. Yeah, please continue to support Sir Chin Chow, even though I'm not here. Support him. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, thank you. This is, uh, yeah. You mm. can tell we wrote all of this, right? This is all scripted already. <laughs> we planned everything already. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. So, uh, yeah. if you need anything, just find him. Okay. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, with regards to trends, uh, we are still discussing what to do with this show. Um, if you if you have any ideas, if you want to see this show continue, let us know mm. also in the comment section below. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's a dark time. All right, enough emoness, emoness, <laughs> enough talking. Uh, thank you so much for watching all this time, all mm. those episodes, mm, 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 mm. Okay. all this support you've given us. Um, <laughs> we'll see you we'll see you in the next video <laughs> why much of your farewell more than my farewell yeah lah cause you don't want to say anything what you want me to do now huh thank you so much I appreciate that I have to that. say for you I appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> we were here for half an hour you know trying to figure out what to say okay look la, at that done, uh, bye bye <laughs> alright thanks for watching bye okay, bye